Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. In this video, I'm going to be working on a project for my master bedroom. I had previously neglected this room as I was working on other projects throughout the house, but over the past few months, I've been trying to make my master bedroom look the way I imagined it when we purchased the house. So I put up the shiplap wall behind me, I painted all the walls, and I'm just loving the way everything looks. I got it decorated all cute for Christmas, and if you want to know where I got any of these Christmas items, be sure to check out my Christmas home tour. So you can see there's like a space over my end tables where I really feel like it needs something. So that's the project I'm going to be working on today. So if you go thrift store shopping and garage sailing like I do, you know there's a ton of picture frames all the time. I always go look through them. A lot of them don't have glass, but that's no big deal. Um, you can replace the glass or like in today's video, I'm not even going to be putting glass in these picture frames. I'm going to be doing something else. I'm going to be using a material that I've been using a lot around the house. I love the drop cloths from Harbor Freight. It's just the perfect color, the perfect texture. And I like using the same materials, the same colors throughout my house. Like if it's sprinkled a little bit in every room, it makes the whole house feel cohesive. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And eventually I would love to do drop cloth curtains in here, but that's a project for a different day. So I have these two, they're matching. I probably paid a dollar 50 cents for these, you know, not much. They're matching picture frames oh. and they are perfect. I love the color. They're like already aged and distressed. They're going to look great against my shiplock wall. So we're going to turn this into a custom piece of artwork. So let's get started. I'm using heavy cardstock as my backer, but you could also use cardboard you have laying around the house, or you can get foam core from the Dollar Tree. You do want to cut it a little bit smaller than the amount of room you have in your frame. That way, once the fabric is around it, it'll still fit in the frame. So I'm going to cut my fabric leaving a space to fold it over and attach it to the backer. I'm using my drop cloth that I got from Harbor Freight. I love their drop cloths and if you have a coupon it's around eight dollars for a whole drop cloth and I'm just using a tiny piece of it today. I put it on the front first because there is a texture to this drop cloth and I want to make sure that texture is straight so I'll put a bead of glue and just to keep it in place when I turned it over and now I'm going to glue up all the edges and you just want to fold the corners over and just glue them down. There's no right or wrong way to do it as long as they're not showing it's fine because you won't be seeing this part. You also want to make sure that you're pulling it tight so that way the front, the fabric is nice and tight. I didn't worry about the seams because once I pulled it tight they kind of went away but you could also... You could um, iron this if you wanted to after it was done. And then you're going to put it in the frame. Now, I picked out these botanical prints. I always pick up old books and encyclopedias to use as decor. And then I look through them. And if I find any great prints like this, I pull them out. I got these clips from Amazon. And I like to put them on the paper first and then glue them down. It just makes it so much easier to be able to get it perfectly centered. You could also, if you don't have any old encyclopedias or books with pictures like this, you can just Google vintage botanicals and I'm sure you can find something you love and just print it out and do it the same way. I love the way it looks without glass and I love that it has lots of texture. I think it's the perfect piece for my master bedroom, but I think this could work in any room. So cute, so farmhouse and so classic. And it was basically free since I just used stuff around my house. So be sure to look around your house and see if there's anything you have that you can use to create this adorable look. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Julie's Designs and Signs for more DIY, inspiration, and home decor.